touchdown guys in um, Nashville with the drive now to a really exciting location for us. We're going up to the Smokies, so the Smoky Mountains. The reason we're going here, funny enough, is because of a TikTok video where I saw someone going down on a mountain coaster. So then I did a bit of research and here we are. So this is the first time also driving in America. Uh, it's left hand right hand side of the road it's very confusing but um so far so good uh, even though whenever i try to indicate the window wipers come on so we're gonna stop at bucky's the largest petrol station in the world on our way to uh the smokies and we'll uh, go from there but so far so good with the driving let's go okay 20 minutes into our drive we're gonna have a quick stop at waffle house because we've never had waffle house so chicken waffles and I don't actually know what they serve, but chicken and waffles sounds sounds about right. So let's get in there and um, try this new delicacy of the locals. Cheers. All right, we just smashed back our first waffles here. It was two for six dollars and they melted in your mouth. They were beautiful. So we'll definitely be back at Waffle House. Um, and while we're in there, we actually met some people who do the social media content for the Grand Opry in Nashville. So he's going to get us tickets and hook us up, maybe a backstage tour to create some content for them while we're in Nashville a, a bit later on the trip. So that's a bit exciting because that's the one place my mum wanted me to go. All right, back to the rental, the show goes on. So we're on our first ever road trip and <laughs> it's horrendous to be honest. <laughs> Mitch reckons he could drive but he can't, that's why I'm jolting all over the place. Oh shit, Mitch, move over. So we're in the middle of nowhere on the motorway heading to the Smokies, uh, but before we do, we're going to stop at America's largest gas station. You may have heard of Bucky's before, uh, but they've got the, uh, the largest gas station shop. They've got about a hundred or more fuel tank things. Um, but most famous for their food. So they do like brisket and like all fried food and snacks galore, all the American treats that you could hope for. So we're gonna go and check it out, see what it's all about before we head up to the Smoky Mountains. Welcome to Bucky's. Okay, we've made it into Bucky's, the largest petrol station in uh, the world. And as you can see, it is fucking packed. It is ridiculously packed, but it's like one big department store massive massive department store and then they've got a heap of like self-made or their own sort of branded sweets and and biscuits and burgers and everything so gonna have a look around um so there's bucky items for everything for literally look boxes whatever this is bucky 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 everything is bucky, bucky. <laughs> look at this kids gear Bucky, onesies, Bucky, soft toys, Bucky. There's, this shop's got everything. They've got shoes, they've got hardware, they've got kitchenware, they've got, they've literally got um, camouflage gears. I don't know why you'd need to go camouflage, but they have got everything. So we need to try some Bucky snacks while we're here. So let's go with the, this one. Sweet heat barbecue or sweet onion? Ooh, tough decisions. Let's go with this one. So everywhere I look in here, I just keep going, wow. Wow, I thought things were bigger in Texas, but man, here, the Smoky Mountains, holy shit, the amount of um, jerky they had was ridiculous. Um, the drinks fridge, oh, it's all wow. <laughs> wow. There's only one other thing we need to grab while we're here, and that's the famous Bucky's beef brisket roll or burger. So here we go. All right, so $12.99 $12 for that burger that we just saw him make. And uh, it looks phenomenal. So Bucky's really cool shop. We bought a fair few things for the kids that were cheap little items, but let's rip and tear into this bad boy. Uh, no seating, which is probably the only downside. Um, so we have to eat it in the car park, but it's gonna be worth it. Oh my God. It melts in your mouth. 
Oh, far out. It's huge. Man, this thing is massive. So we're sharing like we do now. We have to share our meals. But fuck this. Oh. Oh, so good. Come for it. Delicious. Out of 10. 10. Describe it. The flavor's so like smoky. The meat's so tender. It's just delicious. Wow, so that burger was so good. We had to go back in and get a drink and the drink was massive and it was only $1. So the takeaway from Bucky's, it's way, way, way more than petrol. I don't think there's many people even getting petrol. Everyone's in there getting the food, the merchandise, but the best part for me is the price point. The price on everything was ridiculously cheap. So being that they're a big brand, they could charge some decent prices, but they don't. So for us, that's a massive win for Bucky's, and if we see the Bucky's uh, stops, we will stop at Bucky's. Um, also, we'll stop at Waffle House, Taco <laughs> Bell, McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's. and Wendy's, and all the other good American chains. Because so far, they bloody on point, eh? We love them. So we've put on a few kilos, but the show goes on, and we're gonna have to eat tomorrow. So let's go. We've arrived at our cabin here. We booked this one on Cabins USA, and um, we're in Pigeon Forge. We've found it, so. It's four o'clock, we're about to check in, so let's go down, chuck the coat in, and see if it's as cute on the inside as it is on the outside, but it's a great location to start with, right next to um, town. But um, the pictures online really, really sold us, so once we open the door here, let's hope they live up to expectation, because um, they look fantastic. Okay, let's go. We're in. Oh, look at this. Happens. This morning we went to Flapper Jacks for a, a few pancakes for breakfast and massive day ahead. So we just stopped off to have a quick look at these um, shops that we were driving past. So they've got Nike, they've got all the big brands, but we need some we need some goods. So we're gonna pop in here because nothing in town actually opens until 10 o'clock. So there's not much to do if you're an early bird. Um, once we're finished up here, we're gonna go jump on our first ever mountain coaster. So that's the whole reason we pretty much ended up here is the mountain coasters online i was like whoa what are they and here we are so mountain coasters then we're going to head over to gatlinburg for a bit of a look okay so we're here we're going to hit our first ever mountain coaster this is the rocky top one so it's actually the closest one to our place but it's also supposed to be the best one so let's head inside and um see what these mountain coasters are all about i'm really hoping they're good because this is as i said one of the main reasons we came to pigeon forge because i saw the videos on tiktok of the mountain coaster i was like i got to do that so I'm doing it. Okay, Rachel's just got the tickets here for the mountain coaster, so we're about to board. Um, ride lasts for around seven or eight minutes, and how much do we pay? 36 American. So 36 American, that was for the two of us, and we ride separately. If we want to re-ride throughout the day so we could go and come back, you're gonna pay nine additional dollars per ride. So you probably want to get a bit of value and come back later to re-ride. But let's find out if it's good first, and then we'll let you know. All right, we are off here. We are on the mountain coaster and we're doing it. Here we go, we're going up. So there's only one handle and that's uh, either faster or slower. So, you. Okay, here we go. We are ready for takeoff. Let's go. Push forward to go down. Okay, here we go. The handle's down and we are off and running. Woo, holy moly. Oh yes, it goes fast. Holy shit. Oh, holy crap, it's so fast. <laughs> oh my God. It's so fast, Rach. Okay, we've just been down the first little bit and that was so fast. That was ridiculous. Um, but yeah, we're on to part two now here, so. We're going to climb up another mountain and then go down again. Woo! 
getting to the top of the rocky top mountain coaster and it's been it's been a ride so far but i think this is about to get a bit more hectic it's a bit scarier than i thought thank you for riding the rocky top mountain coaster push your handles forward now <laughs> oh my god <laughs> holy shit we are flying so much fun. Fuck on break and that's too fast. Too scary. Oh my god. Loopy loop, we're gonna do a loopy loop. Definitely recommend the Rocky Top Mountain Top Coaster. Like we haven't even finished yet and I would 100% recommend doing a mountain coaster when you are anywhere in the world. If there's a mountain coaster, come and check one of these out. These are super fun. Um, and we're not even kids, I'm fucking 40 and this is fun. Um, Rachel might have other ideas when I ask her, but yeah, this is a good time. <laughs> we just completed this bad boy, and Rachel just saying that um, on the photos in there, they have a what? <laughs> they have like a top speed, <laughs> like, war like warning on the photos. If you go past the photo fast, it clocks your top speed, and I got a top speed of 18 miles per hour. <laughs> I, I did not get a top speed. I was pumping that brake. Every time it went a bit faster, I was like, <gasps> it was so fast. But um. I highly rated it. I think this was awesome. I think we'll do, definitely do another coaster. It took probably 10 minutes. Um, and yeah, it definitely goes as fast as you want it to go. So it's all about your, your gravity, but I was definitely pumping the brake. So Rach the speed demon here, not so much. Um, we're off to Gatlinburg now. We're gonna grab some lunch in Gatlinburg. So let's go and check out the next town. Another day, another burger, and this one is at Jason Aldean's in Gatlinburg. What? Well, look at the size of this thing. So let's get into it. But yeah, first of all, Gatlinburg, awesome town. So let's go. Okay, we've made it here to, to Gatlinburg, the uh, number one mountain town in America. And it 100% lives up to that uh, title at the moment. So we've only been here for maybe half an hour. We had lunch at Jason Aldean's. Burger wasn't fantastic there, but the location, oh, ah, incredible. But from us so far, Gatlinburg definitely ticks a lot of boxes. It's got everything we want. And uh, I would agree, it's probably the best mountain town in the country because it's probably the best town we've ever been to. Yeah, definitely better than Pigeon Forge. So if we had to pick between staying in the two, we'd probably stay in Gatlinburg and then drive back to Pigeon Forge if you wanted to do an attraction because this place is so, it's just so quaint and cute and homely and yeah, you just want to hang out and drink beers. All right, we're going to pick which mountain to go up now and we'll go from there. Guys, we are on our way to Anakista here, one of the three mountains that you can go up in Gatlinburg. Uh, we have no idea what's actually at the top really, apart from maybe a walk, a couple of swing bridges and hopefully a really good view. Cheerlift going up takes about 10 minutes and we're scared as shit. <laughs> it's, not, it's not that high, but it's high enough that if you fell off, you'd die. <laughs> Uh, yeah, we don't want to be dramatic, but that's how we currently feel. So I'm holding on to the camera for dear life so we can get the shots. All right, time to get off and um, go experience Anakista. All right. We made it. Freedom. So we made it up the chairlift. We're unscathed. Uh, we're, at, we're at Anakista. We just got the general pass, which costs how much, Rach? $36 per person, so it's not cheap, but first impressions, it's like a little village up here, so it looks pretty cool. So we're gonna go for a little walk, check it out, and see what's here, because we didn't do any planning at all for this one. None at all. So Anakista is a little um, mountain top village that has been put together, and I think Mitch has undersold it a little bit because it's absolutely amazing. When you get to the top of the chairlift, there's a whole village with coffee shops, ice cream shops, gift stores, restaurants, um, little skywalks, good for the kids, good for the adults. So we're gonna go and check out some of the treetop skywalks now, let's go.
first impressions of this place, it is, it's really, really well done. It's really nice. So it looks like we're going to go on another mountain coaster. They got, you get two rides here for, um, for $16, but the views behind me, I know it doesn't show up great on the camera, but the views are spectacular of the Smoky Mountains. Look at them. Not, it's obviously winter, so there's nothing on the trees, but man, that's an impressive outlook. So we're just going to keep going. There is a lookout as well, which gives you 360 views of the Smokies. So we're going to hike up there because it is very cold, so we need to warm up anyway. But yeah, Rachel's having a hot chocolate and yeah, all good in the hood. This is something I would recommend so far. It must be like minus two degrees because it is absolutely freezing. So I'm literally holding Rachel's um, coffee just to keep warm. <laughs> so yeah, also got the treetop skywalk by the looks of things. So plenty to do once you do get to the top of the mountain. Um, then they have a night thing with lights as well, but we're not sure if we're gonna do that because we don't know if we'll stay that long. Oh, my lips, my lips are freezing. We're going on the Hellbender roller coaster. Okay, time to go on the Hellbender. They've got two here. We've got two mountain coasters here. The first one we're going on is called the Hellbender, and then the second one's the only one in America that has a single line rather than the double line, sort of typical roller coaster. So 16 uh, bucks gets you on both of them, which is much, much better than the one we went on the other day. So let's see if I can not pull the brake as much on this one. Ah, ah. How good is this? All right, so we just went on the Hellbender. I got the footage on the camera, hopefully, even though Rach was sitting in front of me, so we tanned him. Five minutes from start to finish, so it was a bit quicker than the last one, but um, was, yeah, and I didn't break this time, so whew, I went hard. Um, super fast though, but lots of fun, so we're gonna go on the other one they've got now, which is a one, a one thingy. Let's go. <laughs> We're off. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> This is scary. This is by far the scariest one. This is awesome. <laughs> the single rail. Oh my god. Let's go. Oh, here we go. No braking. No braking. That was hectic. Oh man, that was by far the best one, eh? The single rail. The only this is the only one in the country. The only one in the whole of America, the single rail one, but man, that was fun. That was the fastest, it was scary, it had everything. It was only like two minutes, but whew, that was fun. How was that? It was so much fun. <laughs> so many photo opportunities around here. Um, they've got carvings of everything. All right, smile. Oh, nice. Beautiful. Okay, done. But yeah, like this one here, photo opportunity. Photo opportunity, great views more photo opportunities um, but yeah we're about to head up here anyway for a great view so let's kick on Okay, so quick little wrap up. Anakisa definitely would recommend recommend getting the coaster pass for sure. That was so much fun. Uh, so much to do up here. Give yourself about three or four hours to explore the place more if you want to do the nighttime attractions. Uh, but yeah, put on your walking shoes and get up here and explore for yourself. Okay, so we've arrived here at the island. This is where we're going to do some um, testing of the moonshine, the local delicacy that the locals love. Um, but the island's actually the most popular yeah, tourist I suppose tourist trap, tourist destination in Pigeon Forge. So we're going to go check it out. They have the the fountain pops off like the one in um, the Bellagio in Vegas. So they have that mini version of that. They've got shops, plenty of restaurants and plenty of booze. So we're going to go check it all out. Let's go. So we're just going to go in here. This is the moonshine testing place. And um, they've got plenty of different flavors. So I have no idea what it all tastes like, but we're about to find out. Let's go. I'm so excited. So we've signed up for the um, the testing and we just got to ask, are we lightweight or heavyweight? <laughs> we, we've gone lightweight for now. Miss Rachel here, couldn't handle the big stuff. It's number two, it's the, it's the taste of a black bear. Let's give it a go. 
Mm. Yeah, it's like a berry. Not bad. A watermelon flavored moonshine. Cheers. Yum. Number seven, ice cream flavored moonshine. So far, I've got my drunk squinty eyes on. Tastes like ice cream. I think I feel like we're doing too many shots too fast for someone who doesn't drink a lot of alcohol. <laughs> we just finished at the moonshine tasting next door. Um, and we've come across to Dick's Last Resort, which I didn't know existed <laughs> until the waitress started abusing me, literally. I had to make this video twice because she started yelling at me. Um, so now we're just going to order some Little Dick margaritas and get yelled at by our waitress. It's basically like Karen's, but Dick's. Can you go to with me? Yeah. Good. Give me an ID. <laughs> Give her some ID. So, my thoughts on Dick's, the restaurant, <laughs> it's quite entertaining. It's a little abrupt. Um, it smacks you right in the face like a big dick. But no, I'm having a good time. So one of the coolest attractions in um, Pigeon Forge is actually the Titanic Museum. So. The Titanic was one of the biggest movies of our time, so we're going to go and check out the museum today. It's full of replicas from the movie um, and a lot of interactive activities to do. If this guy would shut the fuck up behind me, that'd be appreciated. Let's go inside. Okay, so we've just purchased the tickets. You do have to wait for uh, two a time, so they run every half an hour for half an hour. Ticket price was $78 for two adults. So it's just me and Rachel traveling. So it's just the two of us, but 78 American dollars. Um, and yeah, we're about to start in five minutes. So let's go get ready for the tour. The outside of the Titanic, by the way, looks fantastic. Like there's a heap of photo opportunities just outside. So that's a really good start. So let me just get you some boarding passes. This is gonna be who you are on board the Titanic. Hi there. That's a wrap for the Titanic Museum and it was a pretty awesome experience actually. There was a lot of artifacts in there, a lot of recreated memorabilia, learned a few stories along the way too. Definitely recommend it, give yourself about an hour. Um, but yeah, you'll definitely have a good time. One of the most recommended things to do is go to the Crazy Mason. So for dinner tonight, I'm having a milkshake. Let's go get one. to leave the nest. We've really enjoyed our time in here, especially the, the log cabin vibes. It's been awesome, spacious, so we will definitely return to USA cabins. They've been absolutely fantastic. Like this place, oh, we would love to stay here longer, but it's time to go to Chattanooga. So we're off, let's go.